is from Louisiana. Yeah, yeah, yeah fair yeah. enough. Uh, uh, shades of Grey, I, I think uh, I think it's time for you to spin our lovely I money will wheel. Spin the wheel. I know they didn't have wheels in the 50s, but this is what one looks like. Uh, I'll make do. I'll make do over there. <laughs> Let's go. Do it hard. We don't want that fight again. <laughs> Eleven second, second dance, dance party. Second Dance Party was brought to you by Shades, Shades of Grey. Of Their yes, next show is at the Portuguese Association Venue 7 tomorrow at 11.45. Man, uh, right now, uh, however, uh, we are going to talk to you about something that happens every day at the Montreal Fringe. Uh, the Drinking. Drink, well, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, Jimmy, you should get started on that. I just want to point out uh, we have something pretty cool here on our desk. Look at this, look at this. It's like, it's like a gas pump. It's a gas pump for alcohol. This is the kind of thing that Jeremy Hexman owns. No, no, doesn't just own, literally has in his office, okay? But and now it's in our office, and uh, well, I'm going to fill it up. And I'm going to tell you about the daily donation every day at the Fringe. Every day at the Fringe, uh, there is a, a collection of money that gets split between uh, a different charity of the day and uh, Mainline Theatre, which is the charitable organization that runs the Montreal Fringe Festival. So you help support independent theatre and you help support a different cause as well. And we've got a couple baskets going around. Uh, the lovely Mélodie Bellefeuille La Joie. And uh, Megan Deer from Joint Predicament are going to be passing them around. And today's charity, is Centre Paul Roulin. Centre Paul Roulin is a volunteer organization established in 1995 that is run by dynamic young people, bringing individuals together, etc., etc. Meals on Wheels. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, Mélodie Bellefeuille La Joie is also in a show called Cap uh, Petite uh, Fille. Uh, C'est écrit par Pablo Picasso, qui uh, était pas seulement peintre, mais il écrivait des, uh, des pièces de théâtre aussi. Uh, vraiment, uh, ce qu'on peut dire loufoque. Oui, uh, absolument. J'aime ce mot, uh, donc je vais le dire. Fucky comme ses peintures, <laughs> elle dit. So, uh, a joint predicament with uh, Please Excuse the Mess and uh, Stéphanie Breton ou Mélodie Bellefeuille La Joie. Avec uh, Cap Petite Fille, are collecting money for Centre Paul Roulin Meals on Wheels. Uh, and please give generously. Rufus, how's that, how's that pouring going? I'm doing really well. <laughs> I'm really proud of you. Oh, yes. This is the best 13th hour year ever. I'm very excited. Uh, but you know what? Let's, uh, let's bring up our next act. I, I'm, I'm just about ready for it. Uh, Next up, we have a group. Uh, they're doing uh, an ongoing theater research group exploring mind, action, and personality, which, you know, acronymizes to MAP through social and personal documentation and performance. Uh, three is the project's third production, Real Original, which explores the process of home using verbatim text, video documentation, and the tenuous relationship between improvisation and script, reality, and recreation. With their show three, please welcome our productions. Yeah. Hello, please take a microphone. Oh, this, this is not what that show description would have led me to expect. As, as far as what's uh, coming on stage. We're, we're full of surprises. This no looks kidding. like some kind of contest of the t-shirt variety. Enough. You have no? no idea what you're in for. Okay. Oh, okay. He does so wish. The, uh, Jimmy is trying to use his influence and status, and it's not working yet again. <laughs> well, let me introduce you to the MAP project, Mind, Action, and Personality. And um, basically, we are a group of people who um, record pretty much everything we do and then rewatch the footage and pick out verbatim scripts from it and make shows using that. So, come and check out three. Three, three. Is it Theatre Le Chapelle? And um, it's more or less looking at the development of personality. So, and other light topics, including 
drinking beer, which is kind Wait, of... Wait, drinking beer? Day. What? I just well, tuned in again. Yeah, I know. We got you back. Now we're going to get you back even harder. Let me introduce you to a wonderful young man named Richard Mulder. I'm ready. This is him right here. He is a wonderful young man, isn't he? Oh, getting more wonderful by the minute. Richard came to us about four months ago and, uh, and said what he's about to say for you right now. And uh, he says it best, so I'll let him do it. Shotgunning a beer, 101 with Richard Muller. <laughs> a line beer cap down the middle to, I'd say, here. Get the top loose enough that your fingers can tear back the, the metal peel. Puncture and twist to provide optimal shooting range down one's throat. If done successfully, it might look like this. Oh man. Oh, oh, okay, okay, let's see it, let's see it. Let's see it. That, so, that is like gorgeous. Is, uh, wow, wow. Can we appreciate that for a moment? Yeah. Uh, so what we would like to do is have a shotgun competition uh, after Richard has explained the rules to you two. And we'd also like to invite Rufus out. To oh Rufus. My God. Rufus. Yeah, Rufus is going to stand in for me uh, for this shotgun competition. I literally just cracked open a gas tank full of rum. Could. Uh, and also, my tie is worth more than his whole outfit, so. Could we find uh, a really good Let's hear what are the rules. The what are the rules and what do we win? Who would. And does he have his shirt off? I think, yeah, please. We need a number three in this. All right. Jeremy Heckman, everybody. Jeremy Heckman, everybody. Oh, my God. Producer and dark overlord of the Montreal Fringe. I almost didn't recognize you without all the lipstick marks. So, uh, the audience will be the judge of tonight's competition. And you okay. will be judging on two things, Richard. Speed and style. Speed involves not only the completion of the beer, but how quickly they do it, obviously. And style, as you can see, Richard prefers to do his shirtless. Uh, we would like to see what the other three will bring. Uh, <laughs> you dropped your walk here. Are our three participants ready? <laughs> this is, okay. this is amazing. Objective uh, standpoint, Jeremy had the speed, okay? Rufus had the tenacity. <laughs> and uh, Zach um, was in between the two of them. <laughs> speed and style, I don't know. What does the audience think? Was it Jeremy? What, uh, was that a win? Was it Rufus? Was it Zach? From an objective, an objective point of view, I think it was Jeremy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> 